Right, I'm going to show you the steps to create a glossary in SharePoint. It could be created in a, using pages, or this time we're going to create it using a list. So easier is either to go to site content over there, or going back to the home page. If you go to site content, you can click on new and then list, or the menu new can also be visible in home. But sometimes, depending if you are in project server or what, you won't be. So let's go into site content using either the cog here, site content, or the left navigation. And then we click on new. You just select the list, very simple list. And then from that, we are going to select a simple again, blank list. So forget about all the templates, all these that are not av always available. So we just do a blank list. So I'm going to call it Glossary. And uh, yes, I want to show it in Site Navigation. So it comes on the left hand side. Click Create. All right. So remember that SharePoint always comes with one column by default. Column or field. Field because we are in a form, online form. So if I click on New, you can see that this is actually a SharePoint list. is actually an online form. It's coming. Here we go. On the right hand side, it's like a form, right? So this form only contains a field called title. Likewise, here there is a column called title. So if I do new, so for instance, I want to have a entry here and I want to explain that radar is an object being used for uh, communication. So I would need a new column here, right? To, to have the meaning maybe. So first thing is, I want to rename this because it's not really title. So let's go to column settings, then rename. And I want to call it term or term name or what does what it have? Entry, actually. Maybe it's an entry that I want to I want to list. So we, we will have lots of entries here. But then the next thing is, as I said, add a column. And this column, we want to have it as text. Maybe we want to have it as multiple lines. So there's a slight um, option that we will use for multiple lines to make sure that it's text only, that we don't have uh, advanced rich text, because otherwise it's not going to be very pretty. So here I want to have uh, explanation or meaning. That would be the name of my second column or field, right? It's multiple line. And that should be all, and we save. But let's have a look at more option. I want to make sure that it's not enhanced rich and the rest is all perfect. Do we want to require it? Well, yes, because if it is a glossary, we always want to have an entry and we always want to have a description. But if you think that this description will be coming later, at a later stage, and for now you just want to list all the entries, then you may say, okay, it's not required, because otherwise you won't be able to save if there is no entry next to it. So that's it. And now let's um, already go ahead and add a few. So I'm going to um, add some examples here of glossary. Okay, and to do that, I'm going to not click on new because new we will have to do it one by one. But I'm going to click on edit in grid view. And I really like it because it will use switch into what we could almost call a similar, like a, a simple version of Excel. And look, the advantage with this is that I can just add some entry very quickly that I copy and paste from a different uh, list I have. And now I have my entry and I can just start typing my explanation as well. Okay, super fast. Okay, so again, I'm going to type some entries here. Here we go. And now we have our glossary. Just have to exit the grid view. And now you're back to this. So now imagine that all these glossaries is good enough, right? That will do the job. Uh, I could even have some formatting, for instance. So think that the, the view itself can be formatted or even the column can be formatted. But I'm going to add something else here. I want to add a column because I'm thinking, well, a lot of these terms have a category in common. So let's do that. Add. I'm going to add a uh, maybe a choice, in fact. You see why. And then here I'm going to say maybe category or maybe software, depending on your glossary, really, or maybe industry, something like this. 
And in here, I just add quickly some entries. Okay, so I've, I've been adding some entries. Maybe I put gold with gold, yeah. Silver, is there anything silver? Here we go. And then bronze might be a little bit like this. Okay, let's see why. Why did I do that? Save it. Now, of course, we need to add some entries. So here, because it's a choice, we can just select. Very simple. If you wanted multiple, we can just click here and then very quickly copy maybe paste it over there and then have some other so i'm going to put voluntarily just one gold two silvers and then lots of bronze let's exit the grid view so for now you're like well great i have a glossary i have an explanation i have a category but i still don't see the point right <laughs> of having the category look at this we can group group by category so this group by has been there for years in uh, SharePoint and it's really nice because it means that you can expand collapse and it means that if you collapse, if you expand the silver, you can see only the entry for silver. If you expand the bronze, you can see only the entry for bronze. And of course, if you have a category over there as collapse expand, you don't really need it over there at the end. So I will actually hide this column and then you can see here the view has been saved so it's perfect it's always making changes but what we always need maybe is to have a copy of the view which i would call a uh, categorized by so you'll be categorized by bronze for instance right this one had nothing to do here just delete it and now you can see all my categories here okay so Little things we can do, very simple. As I said, this has been there for like almost 18 years and it's almost underused, but it's really here to stay in SharePoint. So make good use of that.